Good morning guys, this is Mike from the Pipe Doctor Plumbing and Heating. We are here following up on a boiler oil to gas conversion we performed in the past two days. Uh, today is Friday. On Wednesday we actually removed an old coal-fired converter to oil hot water boiler that had two hot water zones and one radiant zone. They also had two 50 gallon gas fired water heaters uh, for this house. Uh, we installed the Burnham ES26, which is 85% efficient, and we installed five Grunfuss Alpha circulators for hot water heating, a Taco four zone switching relay, and a Baderas indirect water heater, model number S32. Excellent little bad boy, and it's relatively inexpensive. Uh, of course, we have our SD12 for domestic expansion and our extra number 30 for hydronic expansion. On my boilers, I use Spiro vents. They're amazing, beautiful, worth every penny. Much better than the air scoops that are a fraction of the price that don't do uh, anything. As you can see, our Taco, I'm sorry, our Grunfuss Alpha Circulator are, are all set to auto adapt, which means it will take the electricity as needed. This one is off. Uh, this one right here is for a main zone. It's running at eight gallons per minute at Hold on give it a minute 43 watts as opposed to 150 watts for a Taco 007 or a B&G 100 uh, This one seven gallons per minute 36 watts and this one over here three watts and Using zero gallons per minute. It's actually flowing, but it's only using three watts of electric on a radiant zone We have one it's upside down. Let's flip that around for you guys one gallon per minute at 11 watts